I didn't really think that I'd be on a beach in the winter in Japan, but here we are. This is absolutely glorious. It's one of the most beautiful sights I've seen. We're here at the Thalassa Shima Spa and Resort Hotel. This place is very imposing, magnificent, and they're about to pamper me. So let's see uh, what we're gonna do in the spa. Okay, so this does not suck. This is the <laughs> most amazing feeling being covered head to toe in this seaweed, like mud paste. It is so relaxing, it smells so good. It almost smells like green tea. And it's just a mud that they're going to be putting everywhere. And I might just fall asleep right now. This is so fabulous. So, I am in a thermal cocoon right now. Um, I've got seaweed on every square inch of my body. And then they wrap me in plastic, and then they wrap me in a blanket, and then they wrap me in this huge, heavy thermal blanket. And I'm like all squishy inside of here, and it feels kind of cool. And uh, I think I just have to sit here. They said either six minutes or 60 minutes. I don't know, because I don't speak Japanese gonna figure it out. So it turns out it only lasted six minutes, although 60 minutes would have been fine too. All this relaxation really worked up quite an appetite, so we went to an oyster roast right on the coast. It was once again an oyster smorgasbord with raw, grilled, and fried varieties. Oyster overload is definitely an understatement. We also explored a majestic state park with views as far as the eye could see. I swear we were able to gaze directly into the heavens. Now from the beauty of the skies to the jewels of the sea, we now make our way to the Mikimoto Pearl Museum, where we explore even more of Toba's rich cultural heritage. I'm here at Mikimoto Pearl Island, which is the birthplace of pearl cultivation. So follow me. Okay, so yours truly is now an expert in determining real pearls from fake pearls. Um, it's actually really easy. If you rub the pearls together, real ones have like a little bit of a gritty feel, almost a little rough. Whereas fake pearls, these ones right here, just really feel like plastic. And it's really easy to tell once you know. So if you need your jewelry appraised, you know who to bring it to. Shinto is Japan's indigenous religion. Various shrines are where Japanese go to worship nature as they cover a vast amount of ground outdoors versus just inhabiting one indoor building. The first shrine we visited was built in honor of the Ama women divers. The washing ritual prior to entering a Shinto shrine is taken very seriously. You must first wash your left hand with your right and then your right hand with your left. You then must wash your mouth, then rinse the handle of the ladle before returning it. There are various prayer rituals, but my favorite was being able to make a secret wish. The rule is, if your wish comes true, you must return to the shrine within one year to show your gratitude. So hopefully I get to come back real soon. Issei is a city about 30 minutes northwest of Toba. We had some delicious food and visited some incredible shops, but most importantly, Issei is home to the Issei Jingu Shrine. Today I'm at Issei Jingu. This is the largest and by far considered to be the most holy of all of the Shinto shrines in all of Japan. This whole area here, all of Issei Jingu, is dedicated to the sun goddess of Amaterasu. And we're gonna go through the grounds. There are so many different buildings. It's very expansive, absolutely beautiful, and it has been this way for centuries. And we're about to experience it all. We're crossing over the longest wooden bridge in Japan right now. And what's so interesting is that the wood that makes up this bridge, as well as the rest of the shrine, is literally replaced every single 20 years. So this bridge is rebuilt every 20 years because it helps pay 
homage to the gods of this area and it really brings everything back to nature. We are very deep in the forest right now and I'm about to walk into the inner shrine. This is the holiest spot in all of East Ejingo, but unfortunately there are no cameras allowed, so sorry. Japan has exceeded all of my expectations. This adventure has been a dream come true. Every moment of this experience has been so surreal, spiritual, and ethereal. Japan, I will be back soon. Arigato gozaimasu.